Now for two marks, this last question then, we're asked to find the 50th term in terms of k for the arithmetic sequence shown here. 2k plus 1 is the first term, second term 4k plus 4, third term 6k plus 7 and so on. Now in order to find the 50th term we know that the nth term is always given by a plus n minus 1 times d. But the problem is we don't know what d is. We know what the first term is, we know that n is going to be 50, but that common difference, what is it going to be? Well the common difference is easy because all we've got to do is subtract two consecutive terms. It doesn't matter whether we do this value minus this or this one minus this one here. Both of them will come to d. So we need to get d first of all, so I'm going to say that d equals, and I'm going to take the second term, 4k plus 4, and I'm going to subtract the first term, 2k plus 1. And if we do that, we've got 4k plus 4, and then be careful here, this is minus 2k if we take the brackets away, and minus plus 1 is minus 1. And if we simplify this, we've got 2k and then 4 minus 1 leaves us with 3. So that's the common difference. And I leave it for you to just try this term minus this one. You should see that it comes to exactly the same value. So it doesn't matter which one you do. Okay, so we're in a position now to find out then what the 50th term is. So we can just write this as an intro. 50th term equals. So it's a, the first term, which is 2k plus 1, plus n minus 1, and we've got 50, we're looking at the 50th term, so it's going to be 50 minus 1, which is 49, multiplied by the common difference, and that was 2k plus 3, what we just found just now. So we just need to expand the bracket, so we get 49 times 2k, which is going to be 98k. And then 49 times plus 3, which comes to plus 147. So 2k and 98k gives us 100k. And then the 1 and the 147 is 148. So that's our 50th term expressed in terms of k.